Okay, we're here today with Allison, who recently refaced her kitchen and her laundry room, and we she's got she added some doors for some pantry space. So, Allison, tell us what how long it took for you to make the decision to reface your kitchen. Sure. We have been in this house about four years, and we knew the minute that we saw it that it had a good floor plan, but maybe not the kitchen wasn't aesthetically what we had been hoping for. So we've been thinking about it since we moved in the house, but obviously it takes a little bit of time to kind of you know plot it out and save up the funds to be able to do it. So um, you know we finally pulled the trigger, and um, we love it. So, and so how long is this house? Um, this home is almost 80 years old, so most of the homes in this neighborhood were built in the early 40s. So what, did you go from dark to light? Um, I think adding the white helped kind of, you know, help elevate and, and make it look a little more open, so. Yeah, and it's so cheerful and bright. Thank you, we like it. And so, <clears throat> one thing that Allison did was her island, she has this large island, and she did her island color different from her perimeter color. Uh, what are some of the uh, small little fun things that you did? So we we did have a um, designer who helped us loosely, but we had a lot of ideas. I knew I wanted a white kitchen. I had a white kitchen previously, but we wanted to add something a little bit different and not make it all white, which is why we decided to go with um, kind of the light gray green on the island, which we thought was really fun. Um, we also did the brass hardware, which is super on trend, and yes. we had a lot of debates about that, but we felt like if we wanted to change it out later, that that was an inexpensive fix versus um, changing the color of the cabinets or That's something right. like that, that would be um, a much bigger commitment. So um, we did have some strange nooks on the sides of the island, so there was a lot of discussion about what to do with those, and we ultimately removed the shelves from one side to make it hold pans, and then on the other side, we left one shelf and made it more decorative for cookbooks, so I think um, that has really helped. And you know, one of the other things is taking the backsplash all the way up to the ceiling, which um, did again help you know, raise in terms of bringing your eye upward and making the ceiling feel a little bit higher um, than it was before. So those are probably some things that we did a little bit differently for you know what we wanted. So. Now what about pantry space? You, our, your cabinet doors, do, is that pantry? So we have a full walk-in pantry, so I will say that was an ad about 15 years ago, which we love. Um, what we had there before was just a series of shelves. problem was it was where we kept all of our vitamins and our medicines and it just always looked messy. Um, the same thing down here on the end we had bookcases and, and my husband is an avid reader so we have a lot of books but I wanted somewhere that I could store my kids water bottles and lunch boxes and things that they are now you know big enough that they can open the doors and get and get out themselves the yes and they use it all the time so We actually added the doors to those to help conceal the mess, um, but we are still able to use them functionally how we did before. So that's something that I have loved because my clutter is concealed away. Um, and you know, changing up the bookcase, I think, added a little more functional storage to the kitchen as well. So. Oh, one of the favorites. <laughs> one of my favorites, the laundry room. I just love the laundry room. She did the cabinets in the laundry room, which is off the kitchen in the same as her island color. And so the ship lamp is in the laundry room and it looks so great. Yeah, and then we added the built-in bar as well. Previously our laundry room was, um, I always wanted to close the doors because it always looked a mess when we had a party and then it was always open when we have a party because <laughs> moms and dads are going in there to get things for their kids so we decided we should make it look a lot nicer so it wouldn't be such an eyesore when we had company over so we added the second sink for, um, to make it function a lot more like a mud room, you know, we're getting to where our kids have dirty soccer cleats and yeah. things like that that we didn't want to wash in our kitchen sink. Um, we kept it open under one side yep. to be able to fit our dog uh, bowls 
but later that's a great spot for laundry baskets and bins yes. if they want to use it that way and and then I think the built-in bar is a great addition and it you know we now have a wine fridge in there and a place for to store some of our nicer glassware and things like that too that is out of the reach of um, little hands. And so Allison here is uh, has your baby due yes. in June first. Four four weeks, weeks from today, yes. So thank you for doing this yeah, with of us. What would you recommend to anyone that is looking at doing the same thing that you did with refacing? Yeah. Um, you know, it was a great process. You know, the Roberts team was really responsive every time we had a question. I think the biggest thing that we did was um, I, I think Alex and Robert were both said we tried to stay pretty organized. You know, we sent over a full list of comprehensive of, you know, what colors we were selecting for everything. And Alex was great and sent us a really detailed schedule. And we tried to really help stick to the schedule because we know that, you know, just as they can get behind if unexpected problems get, we didn't want to be the hold up, you know, of causing things to get behind, especially knowing that we had another little one on the way. So. Um, I think just just trying to keep organized and being decisive, you know, yeah. and uh, thinking through all the things that you are going to need as to the best of your ability beforehand because obviously adding surprises here and there can slow things down or, That's you know, right. change your cost structure. So we did try to really think through all the changes that we would want, you know, thoroughly at the beginning so that we were able to kind of adhere to the timeline, which we did and we actually finished even a little bit ahead of the schedule that we were anticipating. So that was great. Well, super. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.